Well, this morning, the latest COVID numbers are showing a big jump here in new cases. The total recorded are 119 with 103 here in New Providence. The others are in Abaco, Grand Bahama, Exuma and Andros. Also, the number of hospitalized cases now stand at 100. There are also four additional deaths reported for a total of 95 to date. Now to the latest from the COVID-19 pandemic, Member of Parliament for St. Barnabas, Shannon Dawn Cartwright, has tested positive for the virus. He confirmed in a statement last evening that he was exposed to an individual who tested COVID positive in a recent meeting he attended. He then went to Doctors Hospital West on Monday to, to take a test and confirmed positive on Tuesday afternoon. Although he says he has not been exhibiting any symptoms, Cartwright is now in quarantine. Now he advises his constituents that he has to postpone all scheduled meetings and will reschedule once he receives a negative COVID-19 test. The St. Barnabas MP encourages all Bahamians to follow all health safety protocols, including wearing a mask and social distancing. Also, the Office of the Governor General will be closed today for deep cleaning and sanitization. After a staff member tested positive for COVID-19, the office will reopen on Monday, October 5th. The headquarters of the Ministries of Education, Youth, Sports and Culture on University Boulevard will be closed until October 1st for cleaning and sanitization. The Cabinet Office confirming in a statement that the closure is due to a staff member testing positive for the virus. Stay close, we've got more right after this. You're watching The Morning Edition.